This week's training is on Sanborn maps. The founder of the Sanborn map company was Daniel Alfred Sanborn. He was a surveyor who began publishing his maps in 1867. Sanborn maps were published between 1867 to 1970. The purpose of the company was to determine fire insurance liability in urban areas of the United States. Insurance companies could purchase a Sanborn map and analyze in their office the risk of insuring a given structure with a minimal amount of travel. Slips were pasted on published maps to correct or update them. A dry goods store located near a chemical building is a good example of how a map could be used by an insurance company for analysis. An agent could use a map to determine if the building had a water source nearby, a sprinkling system, or a well-functioning fire department. Today, Sanborn maps are an interesting addition to our social family history. We can learn details about the area where our ancestors lived. What kind of building did my ancestors live in, work from, or own? What was the surrounding area like? What did the building materials consist of? This is a legend for the original maps. For historical research, it is interesting to learn what building materials were used. Notice the column on the left, which, adis which lists adobe, stone, tile, brick, frame, or an iron building. The original maps were color-coded according to the building material. Yellow was for a frame or wood structure. Red was for brick. Blue for stone. Gray for iron. Brown meant the material was fireproof. And CB was for concrete block. Sanborn maps can show architectural details, residential buildings, commercial structures, industrial buildings, waterways, and railways. Where can you find Sanborn maps? Go to the BYU Family History Library homepage. Click on Sanborn Maps in the right-hand column, the sixth item down under Important Links. These digital maps are in black and white. Next, click on Browse Maps. Use the help contents to guide you through the digital Sanborn map collection. Select state in the drop down, then select city in the drop down, and select date of the map you wish to view. Download the map and use the zoom and the sidebars to view map in detail. This is a map of Provo, Utah near Brigham Young University in 1925. This is a map of a section of Brooklyn, New York in 1915 near New York Bay.
This is a map section of the small town of Garner in Hancock County, Iowa, showing Mabin Avenue in 1926. This is a map of an area in Los Angeles, California, showing Pasadena Street and the surrounding region in 1894 to 1900. This map section is of Phoenix, Arizona in 1958 on East Van Buren Street. Fire insurance maps, their history and application by Diane L. Oswald. For further direction, view this publication and get the most out of using Sandbird maps for historical research. A digital copy is available in the Family History Catalog. It can be found by doing a keyword search, Sandborn Maps, and then by clicking the Digital View. Happy researching the digital Sandborn Maps!